Heavyweights. Today we are going to be playing Harmony, The Fall of Reverie. Thank you so much to Harmony for sponsoring today's video. And I'm really excited for this one. I think you're going to love it. It's more story focused where your decisions really impact the world around you. I don't want to say too much because of spoilers, so let's dive right into it. Another one where I can already tell I'm gonna love the art style. That's creepy. Everything looks the same, but it feels so different. I dropped my bag in my old room. It's been 10 years since I moved out of this place. Five since the last time I managed to come back for the holidays. When I was young, this island felt so small, but now I'm realizing I was wrong about that. It's not small, it's just that I was growing up. I had my own ideas, needed some time away, alone. Back then, it felt like all the space here was meant for other, more important people. And by people, I mean my mother, Ursula. She's always been so purposeful, so dedicated, so focused. She casts a long shadow. The Nyads. Oh, that's cool. Is that an old pool? Now I find myself stepping back into the place where we lived together for so many years. The Nyads. A big residence, open to all, filled with artists and creatives the backbone of Alma, the surrounding neighborhood. At least it was. With Ursula gone missing, the place feels empty now, almost abandoned. I decided to go straight to my mother's room, to the heart of the problem. Everything looks familiar and everything feels strange. I hear a sound and some instinct freezes me in place. Nobody's home. The noise emerges from somewhere inside my mother's room. A heartbeat and a gentle pearl-like rattling. A soothing sound, a call. A name, whispered, chanted. I feel compelled to open the door and... Nexus. Where, where am I? The world around me, I've never seen anything like it. An endless panorama, a limitless horizon, my head spins. I love how this is like a novel that you're playing through. And there, looking at me like I'm an old friend, is a girl. She seems surprised, as if my presence was a shock oh, to her. Didn't see you there. Take your time, Sprout. It's not every day you wake up in a new dimension. 
My ears are ringing, head swimming. I feel like I'm in the strangest dream ever, but I take a breath and focus. There you go. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Who is this person? She puts down the game console she was playing with and rushes over to me. So, I guess we've got a lot to discuss. I'd say so. Like, where are we? Who are you? I'm... I'm Polly. Actually, you're Harmony for us over here. She seems to be looking at my clothes and... What happened? Why am I dressed like a priestess? <laughs> breathe. I need to breathe. I'm Bliss. This world is reverie. And it's in big trouble. What? Both my world and yours are on the brink of collapse. Not pillaged and plundered by an invading army or something cool like that. No, this is ugly. Bad news. Collapsing from within, you know? Wait, slow down, please. I was just in my mother's room and I picked up this necklace and... See this? The girl points to an object floating in the middle of the platform. An orb. It sort of looks like a heart, wreathed in blue flames. It's radiating a powerful surge of... emotions. How do I know this? Don't look at it for too long, Sprout. It'll bum you out. It's... incredible. And yet, it's fragile. More than it has ever been. I take a few steps, steps toward it. Waves of comforting warmth and aching cold wash over me. Sensations of solitude and togetherness, emptiness and excess. I'm on the verge of tears, gripped by a sense of helpless sorrow beyond my control. I know who you are. And I know you have to touch the heart of reverie. The heart? Touch it! Touch it and see the future! I comply. My fingers seem to go right through the surface. It's neither cold nor hot, softly rough. I feel a slight shock, almost imperceptible. What the... You're connected to Reverie now. You'll be able to travel between our world and yours. What do you mean, travel? I have so many questions. Looks like you're searching for your mother. This will point you in the right direction. Introducing the Orgrel. An amazing tool you can use to strategize and plan out the future. Uh, how do I use it? The girl takes a sip of her drink and a few seconds to reply. Is this simply th theatrics, or is she figuring out the best way to explain? See for yourself, Sprout. Here it goes! Okay, so this is what I didn't want to tell you guys about in the intro, because this is the mechanic that I'm really, really excited for, the base of the game. Um, and we'll learn about it together through the tutorial. So this tutorial will give you all the knowledge you need to explore the story. The future is visible to you in the form of interconnected nodes. Each node contains a fragment of story that you can choose to unveil. Close the tutorial and use X on the first node to select it. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot PlayStation calls it cross. When a node is selected, information about its fragment of story appears on the right of your screen. Use this information to plan your journey through the story. Close this tutorial, okay. What happened? What Your the hell just happened? Your allows you to see the future. That's this board, you know? Before today, time was linear for you. From now on, well, it dances to your tune. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. It's incredible. How? How come I can do that? I'm an aspiration. Me and my friends need a heart to exist. But our heart is... weak. And you... you're special, Sprout. You can help us. You can save us all! Bliss attempts a smile, but it looks forced. Perhaps because I look so confused. For a moment, the words mean nothing to me. But why me? And why was this necklace in my mother's room? Could this augural be the key to finding my Let's mother? Let's start with something easy. Truth or dare? Oh god. Truth or dare? Is she serious? <laughs> the light in her eyes tells me so. She is serious. Alright, the question mark symbol means that only one of the two next two nodes can be played. The other will be blocked forever. Choose which part of the story you want to see unfold. 
Oh, man. I am a chicken, so I always go truth. Don't know where this is going, but talking seems less risky. None of this is real, so let's just go with the flow, right? No, we're going with truth. I wonder how you can play this game with some kind of immortal child, but I accept. Truth. Tell me about your mom. Do you like her? Words are spilling out of my mouth uncontrollably. Things were... are... difficult between us. Good. You made a choice. And now, what we're experiencing is unique and special. All at once, I feel ashamed. What was I thinking to open up to this unknown entity so much and so suddenly? Don't worry about that. Hang on, can she hear my thoughts? She needs to stop! I'm trying, but I can't help catching some of them. Like listening to a foreign lingo you half know. But go on, tell me about your mother. It takes me a couple of seconds to refocus. You make it sound so... <laughs> clinical. It's just that I... I never knew her. I mean... I can feel Bliss's presence in my head retreating, being pushed back. I can actually keep her out of my thoughts if I concentrate hard enough. So I continue. She's always been there, pushing me, picking me up after failures and mistakes. But who she really is, deep down, as a person, I have no clue. We're suddenly back at the Naiads. If not for the familiar surroundings, I might not have noticed the shift. What the? Is this your room? Nice. Oh. You're here. Well, sort of. I'm really still in reverie, but with a bit of effort, we aspirations can push ourselves into brittle. And as you shifted yourself back here, I thought I'd come with. I did? Don't worry about it. Those new powers of yours will take a bit of getting used to. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, your mum! My finger traces circles on the desk. A mandala, in, a mandala of dust. Would you say she was distant? Always. She kept me at bay. Refused to let me into her world. She wanted me to become this great artist. And instead, I went into medical research. She was always there, always present, but never close. Does that make sense? Why am I asking? My stomach hurts. <laughs> Why am I hurting myself? She never even cried. When Dad left, she simply closed that book and opened another one. My fingers paint an infinite spiral again and again. It feels soothing, like I'm making a bridge to connect two different drawings. And we're suddenly and brutally back in the other What's world. What's going on? Don't ask me. You're the one who brought us here. Traveling between worlds like it's nothing is... Well, shows what amazing powers you have. I smile. The future, the futures, are slowly unfolding. Polly can catch a glimpse of the future, but entire parts of it sometimes remain hidden from her. With nodes, a... I'm gonna call that an eyelash symbol. It looks like a closed eyelash, you know? An eyelash symbol will hide all the nodes behind them. Hidden nodes cannot be interacted with. They conceal all information about the fragment they contain. You will need to progress through the augural until you reach this node to reveal it and see beyond it. On the augural, use L2 or R2 to zoom in and out. Use R to move the camera. Nice, so these are all, ooh, that one's pretty. I can feel someone else coming. Damn, this is weird. I open my eyes again. The two paths have merged into Go one. On. What do you see? What do you feel? I sense a new being, a new force. It's getting closer. That, I believe, would be me. Hello, power. 
A tall silhouette comes into focus before my eyes, surrounded by electric blue fish dancing in the air. A new... I knew Bliss was tiny, but now she looks positively minuscule. I am power. An aspiration like our minuscule Bliss over there. He reads my mind, too. I'm going to have to work harder to keep them out of my head. No offense, Bliss. None taken. I prefer the term fun-sized. A little laugh sl slips out of me. Suddenly, this whole situation feels absurdly mundane, as though I've always been a part you of this. You must be Harmony. Harmony? What a name. Am I one of them? You have seen how weak our heart is. It won't last long. Great changes would come to pass. You might even call them cataclysmic. The ground beneath me suddenly feels shaky, unstable. Uh, what can I do? I'm just looking for my mother. I didn't ask for any of this. You now know that chance does not exist. The futures laid out before you will force your hand. That's not ominous it at all. It will require you to make choices. Choices that are ruthless, difficult, even painful. Choose wisely, follow your objective, and your diligence will be rewarded with a valuable resource. Ah, uh, knew I forgot something. There's this energy called a Gregor, right? It's basically how we exist in your world. It kind of tastes like, you know that blue soda? A Gregor is rare and powerful. It is not to be drunk. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting a Some headache. Some choices you make will generate a Gregor and bind us together. Use it wisely. What? What are you expecting from me? The aspirations meet my doubts without a knowing look. Wait. The aspirations meet my doubts with a knowing look. I don't like that they can see my thoughts, read my intentions. Ah, uh, you got it. I can tell because your mind's gone all hard. Difficult to hear. It looks like I'm getting better at pushing them away from what's in my head. We have much more to tell you, but... A good leader knows what to reveal and what to leave unsaid. For now. Of course. The two aspirations look at each other. Something is shared in their glance. An emotion? A memory? But I don't know what it is. I'll need to find out by myself. The key is your mother, Harmony. Her disappearance must be linked with what happened here. A pause. They glance at each other. Some of our number are lost. Scattered. And we work better if we're a team. How many of them are there? Well, that's for later. Right now, the priority is your mother. Exactly. We must find her. Or else... Your heart will get weaker? So what does our mom have to do with all of this? The look in their eyes tells me I'm find right. Find your mother. Explore the futures. I nod. The view from up here is stunning. My head feels heavy. So much has been dropped on me. So much. I need to close my eyes. A new objective node has been revealed. Objective nodes are marked by a ray of light shining from their center. Try to reach them to progress through the story. Use square to open the notifications panel and see the new objective node. back on Earth, was all of that real? I can tell right away that I'm not in reverie anymore. The sun over Atina is hot and dry. I stretch out my arms, feeling the muscles there resisting. A minute, I just need a minute to think this through. I came here to find my mother, discovered a necklace that transported me far away, and I'm now able to instantly travel between worlds and talk to gods? Is that it? Oh, is that all? That wasn't a dream. 
All my studies into the human mind, all my research, I've never heard of anything like this. It wasn't a seizure or hallucination. This was all the legends and tales my mother wrote about in her poetry, all the stories she told me as a kid. An invisible world opened up in front of me with the augural. I need to act. I need to embrace this. So her mom was maybe able to do the same thing if she was talking about it in her poetry and in her stories. These two nodes are blocked by a barrier. Barriers block access to certain nodes until they are removed. It seems crystals are required to unlock either of these two nodes. Uh, the symbols show that you need a bliss or a power crystal to progress through the story. Crystals can be gained as you progress through the augural. There are crystals. Here are the crystals you seek. Do you see the symbols on the upper part of these two nodes? Yes. Progress through the augural and play one of them to gain a crystal and break the corresponding barrier. Crystals can materialize in different forms depending on which aspiration they are bound to. All right, so this is gonna be an example of I can do one or the other, but I can't do both. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go with bliss. I like her a little bit more than power. I walk back inside, my head still swirling with words, names, predictions, and then Nora. I can hear her footsteps outside the room. Knowing her, she's about to barge in. I rub my eyes and run my hands through my hair, trying to wake up from reverie. Polly? I can feel tears in my eyes, a sweet taste in my mouth, static electricity grazing my shoulders and arms. Hey, you're here! Nora, come here. She crosses the room and we hug. It's the first human contact I've had in months. She feels so good, so warm and familiar. How are you? Good. I mean, fine, considering what's going on. It's okay. We'll find her. I know we will. So much has happened. Tell me. Hold on, I need some coffee. It's keeping my brain from rotting. <gasps> she drinks coffee now. She's definitely older. A young woman. In the kitchen, Nora makes us both coffee and launches into, well, about eight different stories at once, all tangled together. She hasn't changed, always carrying an entire world of plots and characters and charming adventures with her, a Nora-verse of energy. And yeah, Grandpa's gone through all five stages of grief, though for a while I thought he was stuck on denial. A smile as she hands over a huge mug filled to the brim with caffeine. <sighs> Nothing beats a really cheap, super strong coffee. Can she see you? Oh no, 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 you're fine. Just don't start talking to yourself, weirds people out. I'm so sorry. I'm talking so much. I can't believe it's the first time you've been back in years. Yeah, it's... you know. Oh, I know. Things were difficult with Ursula. Doesn't feel good to admit my mother always showed more love and affection to Nora than to me. I'm not jealous. Nora deserves love, but it's hard to stop thinking about the reasons behind it. Was I harder to love? She... she'd been different lately. We had a fight before she went missing. Ursula was upset with you. Nora's always gotten along well with my mother. I can't remember the last time they fought. Have you heard about all the job openings at MK? Nora wants to join MK? A few months ago, she was telling me how intrusive and problematic they were. The city's getting more expensive by the minute, and the pay's good, and it's interesting work, I guess. Did I mention the pay? Because, Paul, we're barely getting by here. And there's this school I'd like to go to, a rather expensive school, but Ursula felt I was betraying myself and we had a fight and I had to sleep at a friend's place for a couple of days. That bad? I just needed some space, some air. The shiver of static electricity is back, through my fingers, up my back, the necklace feels lighter around my throat. I know MK isn't perfect, but I can't live here forever. No way I can move out without a job. MK isn't perfect, but it's not a sentence I thought I'd hear from Nora's mouth. What do you think? As I think about how to answer, I feel the weight of the decision. This is the kind of choice Bliss was talking about. 
All right, here we go. One of the choices that is gonna have an impact. Bliss, this is what she wants to hear. Support, not judgment. Power, she doesn't want to hear this, but it's for her own good. I feel like I already went into it wanting to side with Bliss, but I also like this way of thinking with the supporting of her because I think that's what she needs right now. As I open my mouth, I can feel Bliss's sparkling energy at my side. Oh, this is gonna be good! I can feel it! But what if I'm just telling her what she wants to hear so I don't make her feel bad to avoid saying something uncomfortable? Everybody wants support for their accomplishments or their mistakes. The words slipped away uh, off me. Bliss is right. It's not my place to pass judgment, is it? I smile at Nora. Money? Responsibility? A chance for a fresh start? Maybe you should take it. Also, I feel like that's what Polly would say, because that's what Polly did. Seems like everyone hates MK, except the people who work there. So maybe I'm missing something. And if I took a job there, I'd find out what. It's been hard. Laszlo and Ursula have always helped me out, but I want my own home now, my own life. I smile, projecting warm affection and reassurance. Oh, my goodness. I need another hug. I nod and smile. She jumps forward into my arms. I missed you so much. You're always so supportive, so calm, so sure of yourself. Nara can't see my face. She's missing the clouds of doubt passing before my eyes. Me, sure of myself? That's probably the energy I've learned to give off. Inside me, though, inside my world is upside down. <sighs> this feels good. It does. Nara squeezes harder. I'm sorry I didn't visit. I squeeze back. I was busy and I wanted to keep everything from here at a distance. A plant like me? Well, it needs water and sunshine and distance from its parents. <laughs> Nora lets out a laugh. It's round and booming. That's the laugh I remember. Then she releases me. We're both recharged, both at peace. Come on, I guess we should find Laszlo. I could do with a drink. And maybe passing out and forgetting about the necklace and those two weird... I stop the thought before it expands beyond my control. <laughs> Family first. Because that's why I'm here, isn't it? Family? You just collected your first crystal. Crystals collected during a chapter are not kept when you move to the next one. The barrier has fallen. You can now reach the objective note. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. So Harmony is available on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Steam for you to play. Um, and thank you again for sponsoring this video. I am so intrigued by this. I really need to know what happened to the mom and how she ties into all of this. Um, I almost wonder if she was a a god or a version of harmony or something along those lines because how does she know it was there um and i'm really curious to see how my decisions impact the world uh, because as you progress through the story the decisions you make impact both worlds uh, and i have a feeling these decisions are going to get really really tricky already with the decision between the bliss and the power crystal uh, i could see the positive and the negative to both of them. Uh, so I have a feeling that as I progress through the story, those decisions are going to be even more difficult to make because they're both probably not going to feel perfect for what I want to choose. And that's what makes it so difficult because you can see the positive to them, but you can also see how it could possibly lead to the negative. So hopefully this decision hasn't negatively impacted me too much, but as the story progresses, I'm going to have to be really, really careful. I love the art style of this. Um, I love how it's like you're playing through a book essentially. So you're like, you read, it's almost like the narrator voice, not the narrator, but her internal dialogue voice. But then it also has the voice acting for the actual spoken lines. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, the art style is gorgeous and bouncing back and forth between the two worlds. I like how um, the world with the color scheme is slightly different. The character design is slightly different, obviously, with 
the outfit she's wearing, but also she just seemed more vibrant in, um, in Reverie. So that's really, really cool. And I'm super excited to see where this story goes. So thank you again to Harmony for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you head over to check out the game yourself. Like I said, it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, and Steam. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.